Hey, Shalom. I'd like to give all praises, glory, and honors to Yahweh. Ba'ashem Yahushah. Ba'ashem Rakakwadash. I'd like to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who rule well. Peace, salutations, and blessings to the elect who firmly believe on Yahweh Ba'ashem Yahushah. Now, the brother just recently sent this article. And, um, and um, it's entitled, YouTube Bans Racist, Sexist, and Similarly Insulting Videos. You know, now, this, and I believe this happened uh, today. What's today? I believe today is the 11th, right? It happened on to today, the 11th, to where they're banning these types of videos. And um, it's all it's all set by design, you know, with this shooting happening yesterday, December 10th, and they're blaming it on the Hebrew Israelites, you know, and that's what we call demonization. You know, they, 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 they attempting to demonize us, you know, when the hate don't work, they start telling lies, you know, they've already expressed their hate towards us. However, it's not fading anything, you know, so now they got to demonize us publicly to get, you know, to, for one, to break brother's faith, you know, and to, to get, and to also get the general public at odds with the true men of the Lord. It's nothing new. We're used to being hated. We know this is what comes with the territory. You know, but essentially they put in this ban out there so so we can't defend ourselves uh, spiritually, you know, because just like during uh, I believe during the times of World War Two, there was a censorship that was actually going on. You brothers could look it up for yourself and you sisters that may be listening. You know, there was a censorship going on during World War Two to where they wanted to pretty much um, dispose propaganda. They wanted to dispose propaganda to pretty much tell lies on why the war was actually happening. And here it is. The people had to, the people of the general public pretty much had to accept the propaganda that was actually being given. You know, so that's what the purpose of the censorship was so that people that were actually within the war couldn't really say what was actually going on. You know, so the same thing is happening in today's time. You know, there's going to be a kill switch bill to where there's going to be no communication uh, via cell phones, via uh, Internet and things of that nature. You know, but they're starting, they're, they're easing it in by way of um, uh, by way of uh, preventing uh, videos such as racism, sexism or whatever the case is, because now they're killing what your freedom of speech and that goes to show that your amendment rights ain't really worth shit. You know what I'm saying? It's not really worth anything. And then amend means to what? Change. So meaning what? It's not like it's law. You know, they're able to change the amendments. You know, that pretty much fits their criteria or their particular agenda. You know, so it reads, YouTube is taking another step to curb hateful and violent speech on its site. The video streaming company owned by Google said it will now take down videos that lob insults at people based on race, gender expression, sexual orientation, or other protected attributes. You know, and this is something that's been happening to brothers, you know, but hey, the show must go on. They're only playing into the hands of the Heavenly Father, right? It says YouTube will also prohibit veiled threats of violence, taking a step further into moderating what people can say in the millions of videos they create and upload daily. And essentially, <laughs> we're telling them what the Heavenly Father is going to do. So all of these guide, uh, guidelines is geared towards how we um, speak within our videos, right? It says the company has been criticized by politicians, viewers, and video creators for material. It allows on and bans from the site. It's been accused of allowing hate speech and extremism and creating spaces for harassment to linger online. The same criticism has also been leveled at other sites that allow people to post their own material, including Facebook and Twitter. YouTube has been reviewing its policies and guidelines for about two years. Matt Halperin, the company's vice president of trust and safety, told the Associated Press. He said the company tries to find a balance between allowing freedom of expression and keeping hateful speech to a minimum. And these and, it, and it's crazy how a lot of these events and prophecies are happening simultaneously, you know. These things are happening simultaneously, and Habakkuk, the second chapter, comes to mind. Lord willing, I'm going to bring that out, right? It says, YouTube, all right, Salaki, it says, in June, it updated its hate speech policies 
to ban videos with white supremacists and neo-Nazi viewpoints. But the company also received significant pushback that month after it allowed video to remain on the site from conservative commentator Steven Crowder. In the video, Crowder used homophobic slurs aimed at Vox reporter Carlos Maza. Maza, who said Crowder has harassed him for years, publicly criticized YouTube for its decision. At the time, the company said it didn't violate any anti-harassment policies. That will change today. YouTube confirmed that Crowder's videos about Maza now violate its new policies and will be removed. You know, and it, and this is what it is. Demonetized channels. You know, that, that's all they're doing is demonizing us. You know, you, you guys can read the rest, you know, for yourself. It's all fulfilling the will of the Heavenly Father. The more they afflicted them, the more they multiplied and grew. You know, as the scriptures say, but the first scripture I want to get is the book of Ezekiel, the third chapter, the 25th verse. Right. And this happened during the time of Ezekiel, during the time of Babylon. Right. It says, oh, but thou, O son of man, behold, thou shalt. Oh, that's not it. Salakia. Verse 26. It says, and I will make thy tongue cleave to the roof of thy mouth, that thou shalt be dumb and thou shalt not be to them a reprover, for they are a rebellious house. So this is how, you know, the Lord's mercy is running, running out. His patience is running thin. Because he's going to allow our tongue to cleave to the roof of your mouth, our, to the roof of our mouth. Put your tongue on the roof of your mouth and see if you can actually speak. You know, and that's what a dumb person is. A dumb person is someone who can't speak. Right. That's what the Lord is going to cause us to do as far as what teaching his word is. And, and essentially why? Because you niggas, you know, you Latinos, you spicks, you, 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 you Indians, you know, because you all not Israelites. Two thirds of you, you all not Israelites. Y'all continue to fulfill the will of this devil, man. You don't want to repent. You don't want to get right. You know, you, you siding with the, the enemy in, a, in an attempts to bring us down, you know, and you showcasing it by way of your actions. You know, so now the what the Lord is going to pull his mercy from you, which is what his word, which is i.e. his prophets. Right. You know, essentially the word is Yahweh Shai, but we are the mouthpiece of the heavenly father. So once the Lord withdraws us, that's when he withdrawing his mercy. And it says, um, verse 27, but when I speak with thee, I will open thy mouth and thou shalt say unto them, thus saith the Lord power. He that heareth, let him hear. And he that forbeareth, let him forbear, for they are a rebellious house. That's right. So once the heavenly father pull us from off of the corners, you better figure it out on your own. You know, don't come looking for their prophets attempting to get knowledge, wisdom and understanding. You know, that's why the Lord said, um. The ten virgins, five were wise and five were foolish, man. You want to be likened unto the um, the virgins that were wise. This is Amos chapter 8, verse 11. It says, Behold, the days come, save the Lord power, that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, nor a thirst for water, but of hearing the words of the Heavenly Father. And that's what's going to happen. You know, people feel as though they that they don't want... That they don't want to hear us, you know, they take us for granted while we're out there on the highways and byways. They feel like honking a horn as far as acknowledgement is just enough. Look, the Lord is about to bring this place to a, to a collapse, man. The Lord is about to bring this place to a, to a, to, to, to a standard that you wouldn't even expect it that you will be able to, that you will be, would be living, living in or even experiencing, you know, because at the end of the day, it all starts with the mindset. You know, if your mindset isn't right, you're not going to be able to filter when all hell breaks loose in a society. Because what uh what Isaiah 33 and 6 tells us, for wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy time. And the fear of the Lord is his treasure. We got to have the fear. You know, two thirds of our people don't fear the Lord. And that's only because they, they don't see him, nor do they understand the majestic power that he possesses. You know, so they have that do as that will spirit. You know, so what you're going to pay for the mistakes you're going to pay for the sins you know we're going through our tribulation period now as far as catching hell you know just so we're not being punished with the rest of the world you know that's why the scriptures say the a third shall be brought through the fire because we're going through our purification phase now you know when it comes down to us really being persecuted as far as you know they head hunting for brothers you know brothers um is being martyrs for this truth you know, brothers gotta live like a pilgrim until that appointed time today be beamed up. That's the that that that's the moment of our purification. You know, 
you people are going to be purified, purified by way of an ICBM, man, an intercontinental, an intercontinental ballistic missile. You know, that's the only way that you're going to be able to get right in the sight of the Heavenly Father. The same shall know it after death by pain, you know. So as we see a lot of these scenarios happening simultaneously, you know, spiritually, it's going to be that much more um, simultaneous when it starts happening physically, right? This is uh, Habakkuk chapter 2, verse 1. I will stand upon my watch and set me upon the tower and will watch to see what he will say unto me and what I shall answer when I am reproved. And this is a case, an example of what we're doing. You know, here it is that well, the tower, you know, is, is, is us, you know, and we're watching to see what he will say unto me as far as what the, the news, you know, the media, you know, and, and the harmony that it has with the Holy Scriptures and the prophecies, you know, because here it is a shooting happening out there in Jersey City. You know, they're claiming it to be the link to the Hebrew Israelites. You know, you got situations happening to where the, a famine of the word, because now they want to ban certain videos that promote racism and sexism and things of that nature, which is which is the standard that these Edomites live by. You know, the elites of this society, you know, everything's a, a superiority and an inferiority, no matter which uh, no matter which um, application of life you um, engage in. You know, you go to work, you have a boss, you have a manager, you have a supervisor, you have an employee. That's what you call a superiority, su superiority and an infer inferiority uh, structure. You know, even in your household, you got the husband, you got the wife, superior, the head of the household, you know, which is the superior and the inferior, which is the wife. You know, so no matter what shape, form or fashion or, or what type of lifestyle, it, th there's always going to be that balance, you know. But here it is. Now Esau is catering to a particular individual's feelings and emotions, you know, because it fits his agenda. Right. So it says, and we'll watch to see what he was saying to me and what I shall answer when I am reproved. And this is what brothers is doing. You know, this is what brothers is doing. You know, we're answering as we're reproved of what the, the tower is showing us, you know, what the media is actually showing us the current events. It says, and the Lord answered me and said, write the vision and make it plain upon tables that he may run that read of it. And that's what we're doing. We're making it plain upon tables. We got the articles, you know, we're reading the articles, we're, uh, we're, li we're lining it up with the Holy Scriptures and we're making it plain. You know, we're making it plain, man. It says, uh, for the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it because it will surely come. It will not tarry, you know, and I got and I got a couple of guys, you know, that I know from around the way, you know, here it is. They calling me <laughs> as, you know, they, they in the world, you know, here it is. They knew they knew they knew I'm of the truth as far as, you know, as far as me being a Hebrew Israelite. You know, what I'm saying I don't get too, too, too in depth with them. However, you know, they calling me. Uh, uh, talking about what's going on, but even they see that this shit is some bullshit. Even they see that this thing is fabricated and that the so-called white man is 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 puppet uh puppet master in this thing. You know, anybody with common sense can see that this is bullshit. You know, how convenient you go into a a Jewish community and start letting off shots. You know, and blame it on the Hebrew Israelites, knowing what our message is as far as the uh, these Khazars being fake Jews. But uh, at the end of the day, you know, the council of the Heavenly Father is going to stand. You know, it says for the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. And we see the prophecies speaking and not lying. That's why the Lord raised up the prophets, the apostles last, because the apostles speak of the prophecies and the prophecies is going to be the last thing to fester, you know, so that's and we're speaking on them, which which leads the heavenly father to be true you know and the men that sent them to be true right it says for the vision is yet for an appointed time but at the end it shall speak and not lie though it tarry wait for it because it will surely come it will not tarry so we see a lot of these things happen simultaneously you know it, it, it's, it's not tarrying you know spiritually a lot of these things is happening back to back to back you know so it's only a matter of time before they start happening physically back to back to back you know, martial law, disease, pestilence, plagues, uh, biological warfare, you know, um, Jacob's trouble, you know, a famine, 
uh, drought, you know, ICBMs, you know, brothers getting beamed up. Everything is going to be happening simultaneously, one thing after another, you know. So we in that time, man. We in that time, you know. Beautiful, you know, beautiful article that the brother sent, you know, because it's... We, we got to have our mind right, man. We got to have our mind right. You better stop playing games to those fallout boys. Man, listen, you better repent, man. You know what I'm saying? You you got case and, scenario, case and scenarios of the prodigal son. You don't even want to flirt with the Heavenly Father in that fashion. But hey, man, though a just man falls seven times, he get it back up again. Who am I? I'm not the Lord. You know what I'm saying? Like, if it's in your spirit to get right, get right, man. Get right right now. You know what I'm saying because the Lord is about to make His move. The Lord's about to deliver His 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 holy men, and you want to be on that right side of the heavenly Father, then receiving your judgment. You know what I'm saying. So to the brothers, the sincere I came out there, strap on your boots, man. Keep your eyes peeled and keep your head on the swivel. You know, and keep your, the faith in your Hashem Yahushua first and foremost. You know, so with that, I like to give all praises, glory, and honors to Yahweh Hashem Yahushua, Hashem Rakakodash. I'd like to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who were well. Peace, salutations, and blessings to the elect. Shalom.